First one. Hey there guys, today's video we're going to be doing fire alarm testing at a middle school. This is a brand new middle school built in my district. This is the first and last time I'll be testing this school as this is my last summer doing these annuals in the district. Notifier 3030. Before we get into the video on this school, I'd like to talk about it for a little bit. This middle school, like I said, is a brand new middle school that opened for its first school year in 2022 and was open for the 22 23 school year but it actually opened around November so it wasn't open for the entire year. This school was built alongside an elementary school that opened at the start of September in 2022 for the 2022-2023 school year. This building was built at the same time as two other buildings on the property as the project was building this middle school as well as an elementary school and a central plant utility building that sits on the property in between the two buildings to provide the main electrical service and heating and cooling ground source heating systems to provide heating and cooling for both of the schools. The middle school is a three floor building and the elementary is a two floor building, but today's video we're just going to be focusing on the middle school. I will have separate videos of the elementary and central plant. The fire alarm system in this middle school is a notifier NFS 23030. We are running seven SLC loops off of the 3030, which is the reason for the such a large panel to be installed. It's not for the amount of devices, but to enable the possibility of having more SLC loops, which is what the engineer spec for this building. Why they went with so many, I'm not sure. The devices for this building are for notification appliances, system sensor L-series horn strobes. We have notifier 951 series detectors, as well as a lot of conventional duct detectors in this building. There's one addressable one, but then the rest of them are all conventional duct detectors all the buildings on the property are networked together as though they don't cause a full alarm in the other buildings. So if, say, one of the three buildings goes into alarm, there will be a light illuminated on the other building's annunciators showing that building and the address and alarm, though it won't put the other systems into full alarm. It's three standalone systems that can operate independently, which is part of the requirement. If it's a network system, it has to still be operational if that network goes down. We will be doing the testing today with the horn strobes disabled and then we will do a long walk around at the end checking all of the devices. We will also have most of the dampers and shutdown sequences also bypassed during the testing video. Now with all of that said, let's go ahead and start this video. Here we go. So you, what all did you guys have to bypass? Like what was there to bypass? Uh, there was uh, audibles. Yeah, they had shutter. the NAC circuit, the shutters, the elevator. 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 And that's three. Central plant tie-in or something maybe? I don't know. No. 
Just three, I guess? It only came up of 90, there was no 99. It was 98, 98 97, 96, and 95, so there's four of them. There's okay. There's the yeah. door, but maybe door relays? Yeah. I think it was, yeah. Shutters. Well, there was relays where thing is the door. We've got a notifier NFS 3030. I believe we have seven SLC loops, which is quite a bit for this school for the amount of devices, but just the way the engineer did this one was kind of strange. Instead of isolating it more, they just ran more loops. We do have a bunch of isolator modules up here. System sensor L series. We have a battery panel down here, 55 amp hour batteries. The school does have a generator as well. We do have everything bypassed. I've only set off one device. So uh, yeah, that's all we've done. We've got two of these panels doing more NACs. Uh, one of these is giving constant power to their sounder bases in the shop spaces, which do a temp four pattern for carbon monoxide in the shop spaces there. Another NAC panel here. This one's doing more general NACs, I believe. There is quite a few duct smokes in this building and they may not look like it, but these are conventional. We have a Notifier FSP 951 Smokies and these MPS T-Bar pull stations. So this is the first annual on this school we are doing. It would have been done last year, just before the school opened to students. This is of course a sprinkler building being a brand new school as well. This is the fire alarm sheet we're working with. This is separated into sections of the school. As you can see, this is not the entire school. It's just a section of a certain floor. This is middle school level one south. And you have all your fire alarm devices on there. Loop four device five, loop four device four. There are detector four. NAC three. You have all your devices labeled on there as what address they will come up as. There you go. Where, where, okay. Where's the so that's your that pull station. You Wait a minute. You should be able to scroll through. And then we can scroll down. Yeah. Okay. That's, the, that's what I was thinking of, what I was trying to get to. So we got... Well, that's good to know. So you have to hit Disable? Main, yeah, so you have to hit main menu first. Okay, so this is showing us all the disables. Wow, that many? There might have been a few things under each zone, oh, right? must have Like, been. zone wow. might have covered a few things. A lot of shutdown, a lot of door holders. Relay, relay, elevator disable. Oh, alarm, vestibule. There we go. So, okay, so. That's my. Which was the, that was the pull station. Oh, what happened? Yeah, that'll stay red. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch that one come up. <whistles> yes, sir. <whistles> You're heading down that corridor? Yeah. I won't stay at the panel the whole time, just these couple ones. This is our first time ever touching this system. We're just getting started here. Okay. And then he should have another alarm come in for me. 
apparently this should show up as device five that big s screen you could watch a movie on there got any games on that thing got any games on here okay so it does show it for a second but then it goes back and you have to scroll so as what I find is if you don't acknowledge it, it will show the first one, but once you acknowledge it, it goes back. Oh. So then I had to scroll through. So device, detector five, Perfect. corridor and band 1210, same, same area. Yeah, so the trick here is, is don't acknowledge until you read what it is, because once you acknowledge it, it goes away. Yeah. So he's just going down this hallway here. Looks like I've got another one here. This should be device three. Yep. Corridor and home ec. They're all showing up the way they should. Beautiful. That, sh that should be a uh, device two. Yeah. Yep, device two, corridor and stair one. There's also CO detectors in the wood shop here that will get tested at some point. That was one. Give you another. This one's got a glass in it. These are carbon monoxide detectors and they are on system sensor sounder bases, which are not tied into the fire temp three signal. These sounder bases are only here to do the temp four for the, the CO detector. These are the fire signal temp three. We're starting off here on the first floor of the building. Our fire panel is right here. You got this smoke and then we'll move on to the next one once you say you've got it. Hey. There we go. I got the lights going. As soon as I put some smoke on. That's right. So the guys at the front door playing around. There's our Allen key inside the pole station. Good place for it. <laughs> You're gonna cut that down and weld it onto a. Yeah, I know. I need to make I need to make you guys some. What's in this? Thing? Is there? There's probably one at the top of the stairwell. Yeah, there is. And then each room has a uh, residential carbon monoxide detector too.
Just horns in here. You do it. I don't recognize that thumb from the other video. <laughs> How's that? Nice. I don't think he did the one out here yet. Mm -hmm. Weird spot for the strobe. And the pole station uh, in the corridor end of it by the stairwell. something in there. It shows up in the, uh, in the cooking uh, classroom. Here. Yeah, that's a heat. Yeah, I guess we should bring that heat thing over then. Yeah. Contactors are also tied into the fire alarm to shut down. So we've got that in here as well as in the wood shop for power shut down upon fire alarm. It's a beautiful classroom actually, this is nice. Wish I went to a middle school this nice. Interesting, they've got cord reels in here, like the wood shop, which I guess makes sense. If you're working at these tables, you can power up a blender or something like that. I'll let you know. Yeah, that's the nice part that you can't pop them. Melt them, but you can't pop them. You can melt them, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. Alright. Should do a temporal. They should do a temple four. Temporal four. Yeah, I see it. I see it, man. Those tiles got to be a pain to put get out where they got st strut on it. Yeah. Nothing yet. Did you guys put that little rubber thing in there for the Edwards ones? Because that will slow it down if it's got yeah. that in there. I think it's in there. Maybe we should take it out. Oh, that's probably the Y then. Yeah. Yeah, but if we took it out. Because if you take it out, it blows it like right across the element. Oh, yeah. It's in that gear. Yeah, it's in there. Ah, it's freaking hot. Shit. No! no. Piss off! Watch, it's really a smoke detector. Yeah, you can look on this one. There you go. This. At least I think it went. It's pretty hard to see. It looked like it went red, yeah. Um, is there an exit somewhere? I don't know if one of these other doors. You might want to switch channels, eh? Boxes. That's like yeah, yeah. detector of smoke. Yeah, I see there was something. Detector of shitty to get at. Every sense of the word. Fuck. Oh, baby. We got lots of smoke. 
There you go. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right, got it. What's the number on that one? Yeah, you know what? We already have it. Okay, this engineer here was crazy. Put one on each landing. Yes, sir. Yeah. I thought you only needed every 10 meters. She's going crazy. She's got my boots stuck under it. <laughs> it's still glowing. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that color of the railings there. No, I think they should be red on the stairs or yellow or something that you know. There's... Well, I'm talking about that brown looks like crap. The green doesn't look good either though. These are the railings I'm speaking of. Yeah. Funky colors going on here. I like the gray. The gray looks good. They should have just left it all gray. Oh, there's there's your triple your triple extension box again. <laughs> worked, worked on the other floor, but worked on this floor. Yeah, once per landing. Okay, we're on the uh, second floor now. There's a smoke right outside the doors in the stairwell as well. We'll get that one later with the third floor. <laughs> Uh, I think the stairwell is all one loop. Oh, is it? I think so. Right, so the stairwell. Because the stairwell's loop. gotta be stairwell isolated. Loop, stairwell loop. Yeah. East. No, two of the two of the stairwells share a loop. I remember saying that. Oh okay. Yeah. They're just isolated between class A. Palation station. Why not? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Here, I gotta I gotta catch up on the plan to just hold off after this. Yeah, that's 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 a lot of smokies. Engineer here definitely went above and beyond. That was right by the back stair. Water curtains here. Keep the glass cold for the fire separation. The PA system shuts down year two when the fire alarm goes off. Oh, right. There's a lot of crap to test as far as like sequences. Making sure it's doing what it should, yeah. Your sequencer goes and all of a sudden you don't replace the whole thing. The new school's gonna have three. station in 2600. We are on the second floor here now. There's horn shrubs everywhere. There's one in this little bathroom here. That'd be loud. Death defying, one right outside the door as well. Here comes a. No smoking. Full station, I'll give you the smoke. 2310. Pretty dark in here with all the lights off. Not even up top there? Pole station. I... Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, there's one at the top. There's one at the top there. A lot of these little carbon monoxide detectors. That's gonna be such a pain once the little nine volt batteries start dying and they all start <laughs> chirping. Yeah. At least you'll know which ones are having Stupid design. Should've done what they did in the wood shops everywhere with actual proper ones. More duct detectors here. One back here too by the elevator. All I see is a lot of those CO detectors. No door. Yeah, same room, same room, like, same room, other side. It looks like, the, looks like the same lunch bag on the counter. There. Take a break and have some lunch. There's one, two, oh my God. Yet. Three. We'll give you the smoke in here. Where's number four? Or is the smoke itself up there? Oh, wow. Four ducks? Where's the fourth one? Am I... I only see one, two, three. Oh, right there. Four ducks and a normal smoke. Where's this other mechanical one in the back Yeah. Heading on down the hall. Another one outside of room 22. Smoke that fucker right out of this plane. Is there seriously? Oh my god. Open the store. Where is it? Where is the other one? I can't see it. I just see the one. Oh, yeah. One, two, and a smoke. At least they got a strap within a foot. They care about the little storage room, but not the... <laughs> They're running out of time by the time they came around to the wood shop. That cable looks a little pinched right there. What's going on with that? You see in the middle? Oh, thought, yeah. Between those two straps? Yeah. yeah, that's terrible. That's fire alarm too, right? Yeah. It's not good. Damaged goods, man. <laughs> nice work, boys. Oh yeah, you can see it. How the hell do they do that? All the way we're in front of 2230 now, smoke in the hall. Probably have one here too. Oh, they didn't on this one. This one, they didn't put one every landing. Yeah, that weird. They didn't do that at the other end there either. What the hell? The one stairwell, like, they're gonna need to do it. I'm trying to say you got it. We got a full station at the end of the hallway by 2240 exit stairs. You can't go through there. You'd almost have to do like 10 minutes per floor. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Good air conditioning. Yeah, how many are in here? It's a busy ceiling. Got a horn.
no way there isn't one in this room. Uh, just running to those modules. Oh, right here. We were looking too high. Yeah. One, two. Oh, nice and dusty. It'd be nice if they were all like that. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. That's nice up over there. Got data and BX hanging there. Future you, eh? We're on the third floor of the smoke deck on the stairwell. <sighs> Got to take a video of that one. Oh my sweet fucking Jesus. What the actual fuck is that? What's the point of the box? What were they gonna do with the BX? Like, I get maybe you can put the data in the pipe, but. Were they. <laughs> I think originally there was this pipe right over the light, and they see the pipe doing nothing. What the fucking suit? And then, and then they just tie wrapped it yeah, to the yeah, pipe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a pipe. In the top of the stairwell here. Gotta love it. And, uh, stairwell. Gotta love it. Walking back now. Unless I'm running smoke. Which is a walking back now. It's a very nice neat job with that uh, zap straps and that one. Oh yeah. I'm big on the bundling of three wires, but I'm not big on the red BX on the white ceiling at all. <laughs> yeah, you could paint it. What an ugly stairwell. Look at all the freaking pipes on the top of this here. Ooh. Shutter zone. Probably a good thing we uh, took those shutters offline. To go this one just goes back up by itself after you reset it. Yeah, okay, it'll be all right. The halls towards the other stairs outside of room 32.
Crewell, which is by room 3320. There's a smoke at the top of the stairs. Do smell the real up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's still dosing. Yeah, it went. Full station here by the stairwell. It's still here too. The five extension five rings. Three, two, one, zero. Think about it. That's way up there. Best bowl ever, this one. So this, this should be your last non-duct smoke, I think, for this school. Oh, and then we got those CO detectors, and there's the horns, and there's the strobes, and there's the doors, the relays. The shutters. Oh, the shutters. I think it's time to just go home and cry too much. Yeah, they did the same thing with the BX coming right out of the extension box and then didn't go, didn't use the pipe they put up. Pipe just ends there. They strapped the BX to the side of the pipe. Half-ass painted the, the fire alarm cable. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty f***ing ugly. Straight line there down the middle <laughs> and then it just kicks off to the left there. <laughs> just couldn't quite make those two corners meet. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to fall off the wall. Duct How many? Fifty-three duct detectors. Yes. That's. Well, there's four there. Four there. There's eight. Where you got four? I only see yeah. two. Yeah. There's two two duct detectors, two mod or four modules, because there's two relays for the dampers and two monitors for because it's. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. 120 two, volt. Two of them are talking to the one twenty. That's right. So yeah. two smokies. I saw the back of your van there. You got like 12 sitting back there. So that's the no, no, no. It's okay. So yeah. I want some to test your Oh, wow, the damper moves too. Oh, beauty. Look at that. The out. I guess not. The, well, these ones are locally controlled from the relay here. Oh, okay. Check her well, out. Before we reset, what's the uh, L04M037? Oh. So did that switch all? No, that wouldn't do all the dampers. That would just be local. So I think it's just local. Well, no, these, any monitor module will be M. Okay. That'll all show up as M. So I think how this works here is I think, I think this has local controls to do with the damper. So that's why none of the other ones have... Uh, small, big. I, I think these dampers are simple. I, th I think they're just power open, spring closed, probably. Should I reset and see what happens? 
You could do. Yeah, it, 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 it closed pretty quick, so I'm thinking that's spring close. It is. It's a fail safe, so it's smooth power. Wow, this thing's quick. That's a fast actuator. So how many do we think there are? Like 30? Yeah, I would say 30 then cut them in half. Did you, did you hit the reset? Like just to make sure this clears or does not matter? It's up to you. We don't have to, I guess, but. Sounds like it's going to. What keep what keeps doing that? Something is big turning on. I can hear it. It's yeah. di dimming the lights each time. Like it's a big load, whatever it is. Oh, how does that work? So both showed up as thirty nine. I have duct smoke here, so that one's active, and then we we BX out. And then into here, and then out to the other one. I can't really yeah, see the. That's just data loops. Not from here. This is conventional. Yeah. It's that's just converting the, the addressable logic to conventional. And this is the duck smoke Z007 smoke conven. Okay. Conventional? I said conven. It doesn't say conventional. Well, that's the abbreviation. So, yeah, these are conventional. So, they're both the exact same end? So, they're not addressable. No, remember, that's what it's saying is this whole school is conventional except for a couple, like in that elevator machine room. That one is a different one. It, it's a different looking head, you can tell. So all the, all the ducks don't have an address? They're all no. They're all conventional. So the, mo the module monitoring it would have an address, but that could be monitoring two or three or four of them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Unless maybe the... Uh... Still initializing. The, mo the modular, yeah. The, bo the box that it's in is actually a zone of its own, right? The the damper the damper control module or relay module it would. Yes, and that's what it's saying now. I got that. So this should so we're, this should be a different one to activate. Last time it was this one. I bet it will be this one here. Yeah, the first. The first one on that same duct, yeah. Yeah, yeah there it went. Okay, so now that relay just came on, but it wasn't on before. So maybe it is getting switched from something else and this relay just comes on to reset it. I genuinely don't know. All 
Or maybe the... Oh, you know what? It's... No, I don't know, because now it's back off. We did have a walkthrough at one point on this whole system, but I can't remember. By the way, I'm not torquing this down like crazy. This thing just starts impacting really early. I don't know if I can quite do it with my hand. Not quite, but... See, relays are clicked back on. I'm just going around the whole school now doing these death detectors like that one I just did up there. This one's in one of the change rooms. I need a blue box. There you go. Another CO in each one of these, I guess so. I like that bionic shield. I need one of those. Dual monitor module, I guess. Coming in, Yeah. Looked like it was close there for a second. There you go. Set off this fella here. See the sampling tube in there? Drywalled right around the junction box. Well, I don't know. How, I don't have a clue where these ones are. Like I haven't. They're either on the other side of where those. Like sometimes they put them on the same. These schools really get worse and worse the harder you look. So you you say they're above this ceiling. Take a look back there. That's the stupidest thing. Yeah, that's not because these. Are, this isn't like a T-bar ceiling. I mean, it is, but the tiles don't come out. They're glued up. Yeah, so put that light on again. That is ridiculous. Got a piece of red tape on this one. Enjoying getting back on there next to there. So third floor, I just got here. I missed a whole bunch. Two there, one on the top of this room. There's one above there where the black dot is. One above there where the black dot is. So somehow we have to open up this ceiling. And then there's an actual addressable one in here where it's actual addressable detector not just monitored off a monitor module that's the only one like that this one wasn't even on the plans it's such a mess there's so many it's crazy so i missed a whole bunch on camera because i was didn't get here till like 10 30 today 10 40. um I'm not gonna show all these. There's so many in this school and we physically can't get to some of them. We need the carpentry department to remove some ceiling. That's like screwed in fixed ceiling.
You said there was uh, two in the washroom? No, not that I'm looking at the plant or the print. Uh, it's showing the, the comps there. And then that hack is. For you, I'll let you know. Okay. Washrooms at these schools are just open like this on either side. They are considered these gender neutral bathrooms where it's kind of nice that each stall has like a full on proper door, but it's kind of a eh, very different than what I'm used to, but that's as far as I'll go into it because it's a very touchy subject. That damper didn't sound right. I had to use quite a bit of smoke on that one for it to go off. I just took it to head out to uh, blow it out, but. I didn't like the way the damper sounded. It only made noise for a couple seconds. It almost seems like it got hung up, stuck on something, but not 100% sure. They weigh each one of these faucets in here, worth 6,000, you get water in the middle, soap on the one side, and air. Which the power settings actually been turned down on these to the lowest one because originally they were on full power. They were so strong. It would like blow water everywhere. And uh, you can change the setting on these by putting in a password. There's like a certain sequence of activating the other, the, the sensors to put in the password. And then it allows you to change the settings by tapping on it. It's kind of cool. Can't remember what the password is, but I don't need to know. It's pretty ridiculous. 6,000 per faucet and there's probably well, three per bathroom, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the same thing in the elementary school. We will be ringing the fire alarm bells for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Just to let everybody know. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do our audible walk around and try and check everything. There's so much here, though. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah, you film that. Oh, oh, I'm that. filming it. I want to see this. I need an allergy key so bad. I know, I'll make you one. I already did make you one, but I lost it. I like this. We're That's pretty slick. Oh ho ho! Did you reset that? What do you mean? Did you reset the pole? Okay, yeah, you did. I was oh, making sure. Yeah, like reset. I'm like, what? Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. There's ones out there too, eh? Oh, yeah. There's a fobby right there. We can get it from the other side. Who cares? Oh, there's fobby right there. Yeah. Yep. We can cut across, right? If you wanted. I don't care. Oh, it's heavy. Notice how it's synchronized perfectly too? Uh -huh. Notice how it's actually synchronized perfectly? Yeah. 
How loud are the classrooms? That's not bad. Yeah. That's good. It's not like ear piercing. down from here or what? This floor is good. It's good. See, that's really not that bad, is it? But they've got lots of them on low volume instead of few on high, right? Yeah. So it's better balanced. In my opinion here, the gym is too quiet. Jamie didn't like that either. Second floor is looking pretty good. Wayne's doing that. I'm just checking the hallways. There's so many. How do I get down to first floor? What do you mean? You can't go that way? No, you can't get down from there, I don't think. No, you can't. What? It doesn't go down that far. No, you should be able to do that. Yeah, see, this is too quiet in here for a gym where they could be have music and stuff. Like if you've got music on doing a performance or something. I don't think, I think if you're ambient, like I don't think you'd meet, meet it if ambient was up in here. Yeah. I think they, because there's so many, they thought.
doubt it. How's the kitchen? Well, it's probably soundproof doors, right? Music room? After this, it's just the wood shop and that wing, then we're all good, right? Yeah. That's not bad in here. Uh, I can't get in anything like the wood shop, but I think they do have them in here too. I'm not sure how worried you are about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw one when I was doing no next one when I was, oh, yeah. when I was doing the duck smoke. Oh yeah, that, that's a lot. Of yeah, that's loud. How are we looking? Good so far? So far so good, yeah. I don't know what Wayne's doing. I think he's on the phone. I'm wondering if he's doing it all day. Yeah, it's not very loud in there at all. Yeah, no, we always, yeah, no, we phone bullet. They've been, te we always put on test of four. Alrighty guys, well, what happened at the end there? I will explain, I know I put in some text, but I'll explain what really happened. So, we activated the fire alarm system at this middle school, the school on the upper right hand side of the screen. We had been on test all day, so we then got a call from our facilities yard saying fire alarm system was set off and they probably actually said the elementary school, but in the moment we didn't pick up on it because of course we're thinking Okay, we just set the fire alarms off and now they're sending the fire department. Okay, monitoring company other messed up, but probably not because we've been on test all day. So did a neighbor call in and say the fire alarms went off? What exactly happened? Obviously here, which uh, I mean, you could blame us, but really it's kind of, kind of a coincidence. So we're thinking, okay, something happened. For some reason, fire department's being dispatched here. It turns out, which we found out later when we went to the other school to do the fire alarm testing, 
that is actually what happened is the fire alarm system was legitimately sent off at the elementary because there was smoke in a stairwell from some work that was being done and that set the system off and that's why we saw that's why I went up and was like okay I don't see fire department at the middle school and I should have actually looked at the enunciator and it would have actually showed on the enunciator the little light would have been illuminated showing that the elementary school is an alarm but it wasn't making any noise and didn't draw any attention to itself it's really not that um, doesn't really get your attention that well it's just a little light so that's why we didn't put two and two together and realize the elementary was an alarm. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, feel free to put those in the comment section. And if you do enjoy my channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, I do have an Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content and content posted earlier than you see on YouTube, that sort of thing. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching.